Look at this, I was just sitting here working at my desk and look, the guineas and the chickens made it over here. They've never ventured this far before. Look at that. Oh, and... Is B.A. gonna do it? There he is. Is he gonna come down here? Huh? Where's he going? Where are you going? Curious. This is a pretty long way away from the barn. It's been a fun-filled morning already. Had a cow out earlier and uh, ran down the road and put it back in and noticed the water pressure was low in the house and kind of looked around and I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to go out here and see if maybe the cattle tank is overflowing and drawing too much water. It's doubtful because that would be an easy solution. Looks watery. Looks, uh, looks good, I guess. So, I think I will just wait for it to fix itself. Just let my father-in-law pull in down at the pasture where the cow had gotten out earlier. I think he's hooking up a new fence charger, so. I'll just, uh, drive, walk, drive, walk. I'll walk down there because he's already got a truck, so. Don't want to let your vehicles pile up because then you just got to keep going back and forth to get them. I know I saw him pull in, but finding him is going to be harder than I thought. I was hoping I would magically discover something different along here, but I didn't. It it completely wipes it out when I hook it onto that line there. Hi, you want some salt? Sometimes when you're just doing a lot of back and forth, all of a sudden you... Somehow I wound up in the van, but... The truck is just way out there in the middle of nowhere. I have to figure out how to get back to that eventually. So yet again, I'm going to talk about manure. The manure comes out of here, and it hits this spinny thing, which kind of, it just spins. But the other day when I was out spreading manure, this spinny thing just So we're trying to put a new, uh, uh, we're trying to. I've got to take this big grinder and try to around the welds to pull this out to put a new thing in. Uh, so that's something I've never done before. So then this one can go in its place, fasten down, and I can go back to spread manure. Well, day two of the well issues, it was the capacitor went bad, so uh, we put a new one in yesterday, and that fixed it for just a little bit, 
but there was some trouble with the wiring and all that stuff, so we didn't have water most of yesterday and last night. I didn't get to make any coffee this morning. I didn't get to take a hot shower last night. Those kind of things really do bother me. I, I have a specific way I want things to happen. But that's getting used to living on a farm, right? It's not about me. And in particular today, not about me at all because this issue with the water uh, messed up the uh, water trough for the cattle. And so they have not had any water for a little while now. And uh, if this goes on much longer, they're going to get kind of thirsty. So, so we're working on the tank right now, but I'm also going back to the other farm to get uh, uh, another tank to just make a makeshift solution uh, so they don't get angry and bust out. shower over. Are you happy that there's water in the house now? <laughs> Not as happy as you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice. I mean, I, I, after picking the boys up from their half day of school yesterday, we made a beeline for the, the grocery store in Brandon where I knew they had, um, that they sold the big, like, what is that, like how many gallons is that, five gallon? Yeah. The big, five, the big five gallon jugs for, for water because I realized, since it was only trickling out at that point, we needed to get some extra water filled, you know, um, res reserves for ourselves in case we hit further snags. But luckily, we didn't have to. We didn't end up having to use it. Peeing yeah. outside and yeah, and, but uh, I mean, that that helped uh, yeah. helped us tolerate things a little bit longer. It was a full moon and then the eclipse last night, so made for nice companionship when you go outside to cop a squat. Or could when we, I would, because I'm the only one who has to squat. We could have just used the toilet, it's not that big of a deal. Well, so far, so good. Looks like the tank is filling up nicely. I'm gonna seal the top back on and take down this temporary fence to keep those guys out of it, but uh, so far, so good. Looks like it's not going to be too bad. So, here it is, Saturday morning, and for the third day in a row, I get up after a day of feeling victorious by having the well fixed, and so I went out and checked the cattle trough. It's good for now, but that's not going to last very long, so back at it again. That's not bad. All right, fast forward, and it's the next day, and we have had water since uh, yesterday afternoon. No! Yes, we have. No, I found water. Knock on wood. So, to celebrate, currently, your birthday. Uh, what was it? After the water was fixed, then I went out to do some work in the field, and the tractor broke down, but it just needed the radiator kind of cleaned off. So, nothing, nothing is really. <laughs> All that broken at the, should I say that? No. Yeah. At the moment, well, I just, I, if I say that, something's gonna break. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, Nothing is broken right now, and to celebrate, we're gonna, we're gonna go out to breakfast. I love going out to brunch. breakfast, but brunch. Get there. Brunch. It's in Laverne, Minnesota. Yeah. Yes. Minnesota. 
Minnesota, we are south of Minnesota. East to North Dakota, we got something really rare. No, but all four of us in the in the vehicle and heading east. This is the first time we've all been in uh, uh, the first time in the four months we've lived here that we've all been in the vehicle on the interstate in Minnesota. In Minnesota.